Welcome to On The Move. You're referring to the weapon as an assault rifle? I mean, I guess in a position as... I have no problem myself, you know, not arguing in closing or anything, you know, not using assault rifle. I'm fine with saying AR-15 or, you know, right, just rifle in general. I guess the concern I have is, again, we're going from a reasonable person standard. So, if we have Miss Poser, who may not be as familiar with guns, or Mr. O'Brien himself, and I don't know if it would go so much with Mr. O'Brien, but they might, I think they should be allowed to testify, I saw this gun look like an assault rifle, because that goes to their reasonable fear. So I think that goes to an element, it goes to their state of mind. So, I, I, have, I don't know if that's what they're going to testify to, but I think if that's what they saw and that's what they felt, because they might not be familiar, um, with that model of gun, I, I think that would be appropriate. But for me, arguing, um, I, I don't anticipate arguing. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with sticking with just AR-15 and not characterizing it as an assault rifle. A couple of things. I want to. It's it's not just Miss. Is it Pauser? Miss Pauser's statements. It's a concern. Some of the the officers in their report they call this uh, an assault rifle, and it's not. If we allow that that term to be used, that's not a reasonable person standard. In all due respect, it's an ignorant person standard. The difference between a semi-automatic rifle and an assault rifle are extreme. And I understand that there's, there's certain aspects of society that don't understand those differences. But that's the problem here. That is a major problem. To consider this assault rifle when it's not, it is not a fully automatic rifle, uh, is a huge mistake. And it, it, all it does is it lends towards even more fear uh, based off of ignorance. This rifle in and of itself uh, has no different functionality than any standard run-of-the-mill hunting rifle. And in fact, other than the bullets that it uses and the distance that it can shoot, it has no different functionality than the gun that Officer Rollins is wearing today. One trigger pull, one bullet released. One trigger pull, one bullet released. His gun is semi-automatic, just like that rifle was. The term assault rifle denotes something completely different. It denotes what we all see in the movies with military personnel with the guns that just repeated, you know, machine gun fire. That's not what this is. And for people to think that's what it is, is completely unfair. Yeah, it's probably not an assault rifle. I don't want to have to get into a position of having to, to define it what? for the jury. But uh, officers can refer to it as a semi-automatic rifle, and I guess AR-15. Regarding the civilian witnesses, I mean, do I just, I, is the court saying I should instruct them just to to say AR-15 or just a or weapon? Just refer to it as a rifle or something. Um, and then I, I guess the last thing I would ask, it's not in our motion, but just in response to this, is we were anticipating asking one of the officers, because um, this is a style, I'm sorry, a model of gun that can be converted into a fully automatic. Um, so I don't know, so that's one of the reasons they did the weapon check, so I don't know if they're going to be allowed to testify that. You know, this is a model of gun, that potentially can be Are you anticipating modified. having to say that they checked to make sure it wasn't stolen? Yeah, that's one of the bullets, things they the, the, cart, the bullets were okay and that it, and that, that it wasn't... And that it wasn't modified to a fully automatic. Um, yeah. Now, I can just leave it at that, fully automatic. I mean, obviously not to say assault rifle, but I just want to make sure that that's something that we're allowed to go into or, or not, just so I can at least inform my witnesses before they take a stand. So they would say it was not a fully automatic Assault. Well, they checked to make sure they checked to make sure it was whether or not it was stolen. They checked to see whether or not it was modified because if it's modified, I think you need a special permit um, to have that such to have such a weapon and that it was not. I mean, obviously, we'll they follow up with and it was not modified into that. So that way, the jury knows that that model of gun that he was carrying was not a fully automatic. The problem is uh, with that that rationale. And while I understand the rationale, it it forgets something that's really, really important, and that's that all semi-automatic guns can be modified to become fully automatic. Every single one of them. Mm -hmm. So why are we singling out this one? Why is that an important well, aspect with this one? I was just saying that they checked it and it wasn't an illegal... And if I could... Well, yeah, I mean, it cuts both ways, obviously. It does. And 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 I do want to clarify some, an aspect of uh, the, the calling an assault rifle. I have less concern. I don't want Ms. Powder to call it an assault rifle, but I am going to go into with her on cross-examination, her belief about what this rifle was versus what it really was, because I think that goes to the alarm she's going to testify to, and I want to be able to establish that that alarm was based off of ignorance. My biggest concern is these officers testify, testifying and using the term assault rifle, because officers have a certain 
automatic amount of credibility uh, when they take that stand in their uniform. And that term being used by these officers is hugely problematic. I'm not saying I want Ms. Powder to use it, but I do want to be clear and candid with the court that I do intend to cross-examine her based on her belief about the understanding of that rifle, because I think that belief is what created her fear, which subjectively apparently was there, uh, depending on whether or not you have seen the video. But I need to establish that it's based off of ignorance. And that's, that's a big part of what this trial is, is the ignorance of what, the, of what this weapon really was. I'll be in the tank right now, officer. Oh, let me see your ID. No, thank you. What's that? No, thank you. No, thank you? No, thank you. Okay, why are you saying no, thank you? I, I know it's my Fourth Amendment right. I don't have to show you my identification. And one of these books that I want to discuss is this book right here. It's called Founding Brothers. It's written by Joseph J. Ellis. And I really found this book to be really informative. It helped me out a great deal in understanding uh, the founding of this. Really comfortable too. That's one thing I really like about this bag is the comfort level of it. Um, but anyway, so let me move on here and we'll start showing the back here, show the features. Uh, first thing first here, we got the front of it. 